Hello. In this video, I'll introduce you to uh, Ruffini's method for long polynomial division. Some of you will already be familiar with the commonly taught long polynomial division, but you will greatly benefit from learning this method, as it can be much quicker to use. Um, in this example, um, in this video, I'll be using f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus x squared minus 7. And I'll say divide by x minus 2. Actually, let's make it plus 2. But yeah, let's make it plus 2. Um, so we are given this. Now, I'll make a video explaining how it works in due course, and I'll link, in the disc I'll link it in the description below. And up here, um, hopefully, I'll put the link for the video. Uh, but this is just for those people who do not have too much time to waste on length explanation and animation, just just want to go straight to the fact. Um, so the method used to do this, so you are given a function and you're told to divide by a certain function, so this is the same as writing um, a new function, g of x is therefore equal to 3x cubed plus x squared minus 7 divided by x plus 2. Now, the way we do this is we look at the denominator. And we look at the denominator and we say, okay, the denominator is 0. Uh, not that the denominator is 0, but we just say that x is equal to minus 2. And we use this number to create a table here. This number here, we write it over here. Now, the coefficient of the equations are the ones that go over here right down the line, so 3x cubed, 1x squared, note that there is no x uh, variable um, to the power of 1, so I'll just write uh, 0. And the constant here, the constant will go over here on this side. Now I just use this cr grid here because it's convenient. Now we put down the first number, um, which is 3, we multiply these two numbers, giving giving us minus 6, I then add these two numbers here, I get minus 5, multiply them together, I guess, 10, add them together, multiply them together, and we get these coefficients here. Now each coefficient will then turn into a new coefficient, which is now 10, this will become minus 5x, and this will become 3x squared. Now what is this? This is the remainder. Now, the remainder has not been divided by the coefficient and therefore this will be equal to, so g of x is therefore equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 10 minus 27 over x plus 2. And again, this is a term that has not been divided and uh, we'll now see a graph of this function to check whether well, this is what the question has asked us to do. Here you should be able to see a, a graph of g of x that we had before. Um, so the solution that we obtain is a sort of a quadratic with another term here. So we have the quadratic shape over here, and we have this discontinuation that is due to this uh, element over here. And to understand that, we need to learn about limits. but um, so we, we need to have to understand whether uh, we got the right solution or not. So I'm going to show this graph here and remove this one, and we can see that it is indeed the same thing, which, which you know, it, it means we got the right solution. The nice thing about this method is that you can use it to work with much larger polynomials and. Uh, that saves you a ton of time when you're dealing with the usual uh, long polynomial division. Um, and this also allows you to find the remainder, which is, which is quite good. Now, I hope you find this useful. Um, I assured it when, when I was back in school. Um, if you want to um, have a more concrete example as to why this method is better, then hopefully I'll be uploading a video one of these days, or maybe in the future. Or maybe never, I don't know. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how this is or why this is better than normal polynomial division. Uh, make sure to check that link. Um, 
if it ever appears. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time.